G'day guys, uh, so this is the second part to the Saltiga uh, that was found on the bottom. Customers brought this in for me, it's a blue rose rod, it was apparently found on the Gannett pin. Um, you can see here, he's already, before he's brought it into me, he's already knocked a lot of stuff off and you can see the barnacles have really torn up. The uh, EVA, there's a bit of shell and stuff still left in them. I've already sanded all the aluminium back, uh, it was all heavily scarred up. You can see a little bit of pitting in it and a bit of staining, but it'll eventually come up quite nice. Simply put that on the rod lathe and clean that all up. I've reshaped and resanded the uh, front handle as well. Tiny bits of uh, EVA you can see missing out of it where the uh, removal of the barnacles has just flicked pieces out. We've sanded that back as low as we can, basically to the winding checks and ferrules because we don't want to go too much lower than that. Uh, we've needed to strip all of the guides off this rod, it was a Shimano Blue Rose but it was a Shimano built with Fuji guides and much like the Daiwa the Fuji guides don't have a single bit of rust or corrosion on them they're uh, and this is why I sell bulk of what I sell are rods with Fuji guides here so you just can't beat them the old thread was all taken off simply because it was underwater for so long we couldn't trust it wasn't rotten so we're going to rebuild this rod uh, for this customer and give you guys a look when it's all finished Sanding block, cork, uh, started off with a 100 grit, started on the top, got on a rod lathe. We're basically just, you know, starting to rub back fairly heavily on the uh, damaged EVA, keeping mainly to uh, this bottom end here. I've got more depth there. Um, at this end I haven't got so much depth. Um, very shortly I'll put a little bit of masking tape around here to uh, protect it from the sanding as I, uh, as I go, in case I touch it. I also normally use a vacuum cleaner but it's a bit loud for the uh, video. There you go. So. It's starting to come up already. You can see there's still a lot more sanding to go through bits like here. Lots of damage. We'll have to take it down and down. And as we go down, we'll just go up and up in sandpaper weights. We may finish at um, 220, uh, maybe even 400, depending on how it's coming back and how much damage the barnacles and stuff have done to the EVA. So uh, I'll cut back in with you soon. So uh, as I'm sanding down, there's all these little pieces of shell uh, in this handle as well and I'm having to just quietly try and pick them out um, otherwise as I'm sanding, this is all just bits of broken barnacle as I'm sanding they're pushing in further and further into the grip and uh, digging deeper holes some of them are actually quite quite big and down deep in there something to keep an eye out for Here we go, blue rose, all redone. Some nice basic little silver add-ins in the bottom. We covered the whole thing in uh, metallic blue. Redid the guides in metallic blue and silver. And now, she's all looking shiny and choice. Check that out. Brand new blue rose. I only wish we had got the original footage because this rod was actually in worse state than the reel. But of course, We've been able to rebuild this cosmetically, whereas with the reel it's not entirely possible.